when we think about the Nike Metcon, what usually comes to mind is something like this, this, or this. But what if I told you the story of the Metcon training shoe actually started here? You can't be serious, man. Yes, I am serious. This is the story of the Metcon, and it might not be quite what you're expecting. The Metcon we know today may never have seen the light of day if it wasn't for the prototypes that went before. The story of what would go on to become what we now know as the Nike Metcon starts way back in 1987 with a different sport and athlete altogether. Enter stage left, John McEnroe. In an attempt to appeal to increasing desire for a fitness shoe that worked in a variety of different types of settings, the Nike Air Trainer 1 was born. The shoe never took off in the way Nike had initially envisaged. In some ways, it was simply a shoe ahead of its time. Yet fast forward to the mid 1990s, and we've seen an explosion in the popularity of home workout videos with Jane Fonda selling over 189 million workout videos. And even a slightly younger Mark Wahlberg is getting in on the action, but more on Mark later. Back here in the UK, Mr. Motivator, yes, that guy you see on the screen right now, is bringing home exercise to UK breakfast television. So surely the world's quite literally limbered up enough that it's ready for the Metcon, right? Well, not yet. There's one more character movement we need to introduce to the plot, and that's when everything changed. In the year 2000, CrossFit Incorporated was born, and by 2020, its popularity has grown and exploded with approximately 15,000 affiliate gyms now open around the world. As business booms, so did the sponsorship opportunities, and in 2011, Reebok became the official footwear sponsor of CrossFit. Fast forward to 2015, and plenty of others are starting to want to get a piece of the pie. The Metcon 1 is born and quickly banned for athletes to use in the CrossFit Games, but banning the Metcon only drew more attention to it and it grew in popularity. Nike never wanted to miss a good PR and marketing opportunity released the Ect Band Edition, which took its inspiration from the Air Jordan 1s, which were similarly banned by the NBA in the 1984 and has since gone on to be one of Nike's best sellers. Competition on and off the gym floor can be a good thing, and we saw plenty of that in the shoe engineering battles between the Nike Metcon and Reebok Nano cross training shoe evolution over the years that followed. By 2015, Reebok and Nike are not the only two players in town wanting to make their mark on the CrossFit and cross training shoe footwear market, and in that same year, Noble was born. Nike's aspirations and ambitions to be a genuine player in the cross training world were starting to pay off with Nike training revenue surging 53% between 2011 and 2016. Fast forward to 2020 and the Nike Metcon is now heading into its sixth edition and going mainstream. With the explosion of functional trading characterised by the gym franchise F45, I told you Mark would be back. The Metcon is no longer exclusively a CrossFit athlete shoe and it began popping up on regular gym floors around the world. Re-engineered in 2021, the Metcon went under a complete redesign for its 7th edition, with the dual-density foam sole insert being replaced with an integrated sole that took its inspiration from the React Metcon model. The growth in the Metcon's popularity has seen an explosion in the bespoke customization market with some incredible inspiring designers. If you're looking for your own customized pair, do check out some of the links in the video description. So what next for the Metcon? Well, the global fitness marketplace is projected to grow to in excess of 100 billion. Combined with our appetite for technology that elevates our training, there looks to be a booming future for the Metcon in the years ahead. The eighth edition of the shoe is expected to land in and around June and July, and with it we can expect improvements and innovations to the shoe, and as we have more information about that, we'll share it in a video up here. Lastly, if you enjoy Metcon-style workouts, do check out our follow-along workout videos. Have a great workout.